last report I got in your area, it was 50 to uh, 50 to 60 people uh, in Western North Carolina that are already inexplicably sick. And by inexplicably, I mean, they don't know what's wrong with them. And the reason for that is all kinds of shit has washed into that river, literal human feces from septic tanks that were ruptured, um, wastewater treatment plants, thousands of cadavers, even though the official reporting is that, it, no, it's only 213 dead. Well, that conflicts with one coroner that I personally spoke with that had 1,200 people in reefer trailers and another uh, EMT that told me he was stacking body bags in the back of ambulances like cordwood, okay? So the official number is 213, but there's thousands of corpses in the rivers and underneath 20 to 30 foot of mud in some areas, which is why the cadaver dogs are hitting on entire valleys, not just a spot or two, the entire valley is filled with bodies. Then you've got dead animals. Then you've got wastewater treatment plants, septic tanks. You've got uh, FS, nuclear fuel services that lost, uh, well, the official reporting is they lost training barrels, right? Training barrels, 55 gallon drums that they use for training purposes, even though, you know, part of what we do on the Caleb House side is very intelligence driven. And so some of my Caleb House guys came out for this grindstone operation because we needed intelligence. Well, we spoke to the former training manager at NFS who said, nope, those aren't training barrels. Those are live barrels. Wow. And, of, and officially the number was, well, it's just one live barrel. Then it was five live barrels. Then it was a semi load, 250, 55 gallon drums. And we know because the semi was found and documented under 10 foot of mud. So you've got nuclear fuel or waste fuels. You also have the facility at NFS. They said they lost a pole barn in the flooding. They didn't. They lost a 10,000 square foot decontamination unit and all the de de, uh, the contaminated parts and all the decontamination equipment washed into the river. Then you've got a PVC plant. You've got multiple concrete plants, all of which washed into the river. And part of the problem here is that there are hundreds of homes that should be condemned. And I'm not for the government condemning people's homes.